Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial about creating a stylized game asset with Blender, ZBrush and Substance Painter. I use a similar method, like 3DX, a fellow artist, and he created a guide to making a stylized asset that you can get from his Gumroad that I highly recommend. I added the link to the description below. Ok, having that said, let's start with Blender 2.8 for creating the low poly model. What we are going to create is a stone arc. And this is the first part of a series, in which I'm just creating the low poly mesh. In the second part we will UV unwrap this and export it to ZBrush. There I will create the high poly mesh. And then in the last part we will texture the model using Substance Painter. Ok, what I'm doing now is to create the first pillar of the arc, the left one. And to do this I'm just extruding faces. Select the face, press the E key, then set to constrain it to the Z axis. And I'm also sizing and rotating by pressing S and R and the slight rotations I add because I don't want to make it look too clean but later on we will add more imperfections. I don't use a reference for this, I just model it out of my head. For a simple model you can do this but it's also great to have a reference or to paint it before you start modeling. This face here I duplicated because I will create a stone that is kind of embedded in the other one. It is still one mesh because I'm always in edit mode and now I'm again extruding new shapes. Ok, I think the last kind of cube here will be the center. So I will increase the size to make it look more prominent. So I select this face and move it up and this one down. Then we can remove this face and now it's time to add a mirror modifier. So I switch to the modifiers tab and add mirror. And then we can select this edge and bring it to the center but before I do this I enable clipping. Because then the vertices will be merged at the center. Ok, then I will bring this edge downwards by pressing G and Z and move the edges at the back and at the front along the Y axis. Ok, this looks quite nice, but the pillars are a bit too big in my opinion. So I switch here to the wireframe and select these edges here on the left side. Then press G and X to move it along the X axis to the inside. And for we have the mirror modifier still activated, it is also applied to the right pillar. Alright, now comes my favorite part, I apply the mirror modifier and then we will use proportional editing to change the overall shape and also to add some imperfections. First I enable proportional editing here in the toolbar. And now when you select a part of your mesh, like this edge, and do a transform, for example pressing the G key to move the selected part, you can see that all the parts of the mesh that are inside of this circle that appears when I start to move the edge are affected by this transform. You can change the size of this area, this circle, by scrolling the mouse wheel after you started the move operation. Ok, I'm using this method now to adjust the overall shape of the mesh. And once I'm happy with this, I will add some imperfections. To do this, I switch to vertex selection. And then I select vertices at the corners and press Ctrl, Shift and B to add some kind of slight damages to the corners of the stones. And that's a nice method to already add the first stylized look and feel to the low poly mesh. I speed this up now a bit because I will use the same methods till I completed modeling the low poly mesh. Ok, that's it. I will change the colors of the material now and enable the display of the light in the scene just to have an impression how the model will look like in the end.
The next part, as I said, will be to UV unwrap the mesh, then I will export it to ZBrush to create the high poly model. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next part is online and also check out the link in the description to the guide of 3DX for creating stylized assets, it's really worth it. So thanks a lot guys for watching this, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions add these to the comments below and I'll see you on JNM.